My PS4 controller broke. The R2 button on the controller. Sorry about my dirty hands. I was working on my truck yesterday. But anyway, the R2 button on the controller, um, the hinge on it is apparently broken, which causes it to stick. When you, when you use it to shoot, it gets stuck in the position. It doesn't fully come back up. See that right there? I was having problems the other day playing uh, some kill zone, and I thought I was lagging or some shit. I was like, "Damn, I'm 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 going full auto and I'm only burst firing." You know, I, you know, I thought I had infinite ammo or something. I, had a, I thought I had infinite infinite ammo glitch, and I thought it was lag or something. Then I looked closer, <clears throat> I investigated it, and come to find out my trigger button. There's a little hinge inside there. Um, I think that's it. Well, I don't know what the fuck was in, inside of it, but the hinge part of it was broken off. Uh, it does look a little fragile when compared to the... PS3 Dual Shock. You know, it's a little thinner. Um, notice how the other one. That's how it's supposed to be right there. Once you let go of it, it's supposed to just snap back. Just like that. I tried switching to the R1 button for firing and everything, but it didn't work out because every time I th tried to throw a grenade, it gets stuck. I had to use my index finger to push it back up and I just get mowed down by some new so <clears throat> that's it I hope I hope this is an isolated issue um I did find on the PlayStation forums a, a couple people that had this same issue and they were just it, it just started to happen to them so like the the day it happened to me I looked online and this dude just had just made a uh thread about it and then somebody else replied that they, it just happened to them too. So Sony might want to look into this when uh, improving the uh, controller through the life cycle of the, the console. You know how they come out with different versions every year, couple years. Might want to beef up the R2 and L2 buttons. Alright, but other than that, it's a nice controller. The only other bad thing, uh, well, I still don't know what the hell that light's for. It just comes on, it's bright as hell when it's dark in my room. Uh, they could probably do without that, save some battery life. I guess it's some kind of motion thing or something, I don't know. But uh, other than that, it's a, it's a good controller, it feels good. So... Yeah, R2 buttons broke. I'm sending it back to Sony. Under warranty. Hopefully they'll send me a new one. They better send me a new one.